Looking for magic cards or magic carps? On the new CFB Marketplace you can buy sealed products and singles directly from local game stores. Support the channel by using the referral code LVD at checkout. Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. Today we're taking a look at a Blue Rat Spells deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon. Built around Storm Chaser Drake, the 2-1 Uncommon from Crimson Vow has flying, and whenever it becomes the target of a spell we control, we get to draw a card. So of course our deck is going to be filled with ways of targeting our Drake, and the most synergistic one is Ancestral Anger, a 1-mana sorcery from Crimson Vow, saying target creature gains Trample and gets plus X plus O until end of turn, where X is 1 plus the number of cards named Ancestral Anger in our graveyard, and then we also get to draw a card. So not only do we get to pump our Drake, but we get to draw multiple cards in the process, making it easier to chain together multiple copies of Ancestral Anger. Then we also have the full playset of Academic Dispute, an instant that says target creature blocks this turn if able, and you may have it gain reach until end of turn, and we also get to learn. So normally you wouldn't want to target your own creatures with this unless you want to give them reach at instant speed, but in this case we can still target the Storm Chaser Drake with Academic Dispute, we get to learn, and it's a one mana way to trigger cards like Thermo Alchemist and Umara Mystic, so it's still quite synergistic, and every now and then you can also target the opponent's creature to force them to block if that lines up properly, and then by learning we can grab one of our seven sideboard lessons in best of one, including two copies of environmental sciences, more ways to potentially trigger cards like Thermo Alchemist and Tomara Mystic, two copies of teachings of the archaics which can often draw two cards as we're good at emptying our hand, then we've got Start from Scratch, can deal 1 damage to any target or destroy an artifact. Expanded Anatomy also has great synergy with Storm Chaser Drake, putting two counters on it, giving it Vigilance until end of turn, and also drawing a card in the process. And then we've got one Elemental Summoning as a slightly more expensive lesson that makes a 4-4 token. Then we also have two copies of You See a Guard Approach as a pretty flexible spell, can use it to give our creature Hexproof until end of turn, which will also draw a card with our Storm Chaser Drake, or we can tap target creature to get rid of a blocker or prevent an attack from an opposing creature. Then taking a look at the rest of our deck, we already alluded to Thermo Alchemist, 2 mana 3 with Defender, we can tap it to deal 1 damage to each opponent, and whenever we cast an instant or sorcery, we get to untap the Thermo Alchemist, so a steady stream of damage that the opponent won't be able to block. And then the full playset of Umara Mystic, the 1-3 Merfolk Wizard, with flying, saying whenever we cast an instant or sorcery or wizard spell, the Mystic gets plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn, so we can also pump it by playing additional copies of itself, as well as our full playset of Delver of Secrets, the last creature in our deck, the 1-1 Human Wizard, that at the beginning of our upkeep, we can reveal the top card of our library if we want, and if it's an instant or sorcery, we can transform it into Insectile Aberration, a 3-2 flyer, so it can apply quite a bit of pressure, and about half of the spells in our deck are instants or sorceries, so we've got a decent chance of transforming Delver right away. Then rounding out the deck, we've got a full playset of Consider as a cheap cantrip, potentially putting the top card of our library into our graveyard and then drawing a card, just another way to trigger our various creatures, as well as potentially putting additional copies of Ancestral Anger in the graveyard to fuel future copies. Then we also have the full playset of Play with Fire as a cheap burn spell, dealing 2 damage to any target, and if we target our opponents we also get to scry one, and then two more burn spells in the form of a Royal Eruption, dealing 3 damage to any target, can also be kicked later in the game for 5 additional mana, in which case we can deal 5 damage, and then of course Expressive Iteration has to be in pretty much every blue-red deck as a nice source of card advantage that we usually want to hold until we can cast it and play a land from exile, or potentially cast multiple spells. And then our mana base includes two copies of Shatter Skull Smashing, which counts as an extra sorcery to transform Delver, and every now and then we might also cast it, dealing X damage divided as we choose. Then we've got four Storm Carved Coast, four of the Blue Red Pathway, four Basic Mountains, and six Basic Islands. Only two copies of Shatter Skull Smashing, as opposed to the last deck we featured, where we had four of each of the dual faced Mythic Rare lands but this deck tends to get in racing situations, as all our creatures have some form of evasion, so we're not really relying on ground creatures to attack, so instead we're often going to be taking quite a bit of damage from opposing ground creatures, and we only have 6 burn spells, so we're going to get into racing situations, so every life point matters, so we can't afford to take too much damage from our mana base. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play, with a keepable hand, assuming Delver can survive and transform pretty quickly, and then iteration can help find additional threats. But having a creature to target with double anger is going to be important. Ah, 
All right, let's see what we're up against. Hall of the Storm Giants, so probably another blue-red deck. And they could have a Fading Hope here, but we get to transform Delver. So could make sense to Ancestral Anger to get in one extra damage. If they have a Fading Hope, I'm going to get punished pretty badly. So I think I'm just going to start by attacking, see if they have a Bounce spell that they'll probably cast before damage. And then we can still replay Delver. Yep. And then Dispute I could cast at instant speed to potentially learn for environmental sciences to keep hitting my land drops. But we'll have to transform the Delver again. Smoldering Egg makes an appearance. Alright, so now I'm tempted to hang on to Dispute as I could use it to kill the Smoldering Egg. Although that required us to transform Delver of Secrets. So now, probably attack for one, put on my take it, fearing a three damage burn spell, and then play Thermal Alchemist before I start unloading more instants and sorceries. But had we transformed Delver, I guess we also would have had to draw an extra red source. I could have targeted Egg, forcing a block, giving it reach as well, and then Anger on Delver would have made it up to four power to essentially kill the Egg. Opponent's got a smashing for one, which takes out Delver. And now our ancestral angers aren't looking all that great anymore. So, go for iteration here. Try and find an extra land, which we did. So, in hand, probably put Mystic, although Drake has a better payoff with double anger. Problem is, the Drake gets answered way more easily by like a Spikefield Hazard whereas a Mystic requires a more specific answer. So I think I still go for Mystic here. And then... Tempted to play this as a blue source so we can consider... and potentially hit an extra land drop. I wouldn't mind getting up to four. Opponent foretells a card, probably an Epiphany. And then currently don't have a great solution for this Smoldering Egg. But we can maybe eventually dispute in combination with Omara Mystic. Do I want you see a guard approach? It's not useful if I don't also draw an extra land, so I think I have to put it in the graveyard here. Picked up a Drake. And a land. Okay, so I think it's time for... Omara Mystic here. And then... Next turn there's a chance I can take out the Egg. So I don't necessarily want to cast Consider since I might need it to trigger Omara Mystic. As Dispute on Egg by itself is not enough. Opponent goes for a Prismari Command, so... Very likely that they can transform Smoldering Egg here. Now I guess what we can also do is go for Academic Disputes and get Expanded Anatomy to grow the Mystic, kill the 4-4 without losing the Mystic in the process, assuming they don't have more instants and sorceries. The opponent's going to keep their egg at 6 counters. So, close call. I think... I'm just going to cast a Consider since I would like to find an extra red source. And the Drake will have to put in a Graveyard. It's a lot of Ancestral Angers. And I found my red source. So... Opponent could certainly have some interaction here. A Divide by Zero on Mystic would kinda foil my plan of setting up this academic dispute. Is there any chance I can just straight up kill my opponent, not with only two red sources? So, I think I go for the dispute play. And then get... Expanded Anatomy. 
Of course, giving the Smoldering Egg reach allows our opponent to block Umar Mystic, which it's forced to. Our opponent's got a test of talents. Alright, I guess that messes up our plan here. Luckily, they didn't exile all my Ancestral Angers, although I guess they would have been replaced by author cards. So now what? I guess I'm okay with the trade. Mystic and Ashmouth Dragon. Put an next turn could cast Alrun's Epiphany if they've got an extra blue source. Which I'm not too happy about, but... If we can avoid them also having the Ashmouth in play, that's probably best. Play with fire to draw. So I'll hit for six. And we'll see if they want to take it here. Although they know most of my hand now because of Test of Talents. Potent takes it. So the Drake is going to die to the Ashmouth trigger here if I play it. But I guess it's still worth playing. And hope they don't have a second blue. They had to use their treasure at least to cast Test of Talents, so maybe they cannot cast Epiphany now. And our opponent is at 6, essentially 5 with Thermal Alchemist, so they're pretty close to dead. If I can just trample over with a large Umara Mystic, that could get the job done even in the face of a few 1-1 one -one tokens. Right, it's going to be a Goldspan Dragon for now. And we'll see if they attack. So we suspect Epiphany in Exile, and then an unknown card in hand. And they potentially have access to two mana from Goldspan. Goldspan attacks. No blocks. And they should be dead to all these Ancestral Angers. Tempting to target Storm Chaser Drake. It doesn't seem like they have any interaction, really. But I think we can still kill them if this gets answered somehow. Alright, so that tramples. And this tramples, and then play with fire. We'll close out the game too, but might as well. Attack here, and that should do it. Alright, so close game here against Blue Red Dragons. Almost managed to kill the egg with our dispute. But uh, yeah, let's take a look here and see if our opponent did indeed have Alrun's Epiphany in exile. They did, of course. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. Might be one of those games where we should wait until turn 3 to play Storm Chaser so we can protect it with You See a Guard Approach. Although against double islands, that's not so much a concern. Stowaway, on the other hand, could be a concern, and I could just kill it with a play with fire. I think I'm going to take the chance here to play the Drake while we can, before it can get countered, and then play with fire will be a cheap answer to the stowaway. So we'll take one. So they appear mono blue. Discards divide by zero to let the werewolf transform here. Alright, so opponent's got a bunch of mana available. I could Academic Dispute my Storm Chaser to draw. If they try and bounce it, I can you see a guard approach and response. And that will also transform back the werewolf for what it matters. And then I don't need to play with Fire It quite yet. Whereas if I play with Fire It and they counter, then we didn't really make a ton of progress. I guess I could still consider to transform it back to daytime. Kind of liking the Dispute line of play. Because I would like to hit my land drops. Maybe bait out a Bounce Spell here. Alright, that's a good land to draw. So now I could play the Smashing Untapped to play with Fire. Opponent's got the Fading Hope. Let's see if this works. Didn't get a chance to play my land first, so they could have a counter spell here. But at least we'll get to draw a card in the process. 
And yep, majority disruption punishes us a little bit. So I don't get to learn, but I did still get to draw. And then I should probably just kill this werewolf while I can. See, if I had an extra land, the disruption would not have worked out. But luckily our opponent is out of threats now, probably sitting on some counter spells or maybe like a memory deluge. So I do want to present the threat. Question is Mystic or Drake? Mystic is a little bit more mana efficient, but of course we could also consider... So maybe to play a Storm Chaser Drake so we can play for Jory Disruption. And then I might still want a main phase, consider. Alright, opponent's got to divide instead. And then I want to hit a land drop here. Opponent can still leverage teachings to draw two. And in fact, our opponent can draw three here, so... Not what we wanted to see. But an extra land lets me play both Drake and Mystic, which is going to be great. Do I want to dispute right now? I could dispute discarding a Consider, but holding it until after Drake to draw an extra card is also tempting. Alright, drew another dispute. So in that case, I could Expressive Iteration, find a land and still play Mystic, hopefully. Although they might have the one mana counter spell. They don't. Alrighty, so tempted to just take two lands since there's no shortage of card advantage in hand. So let's put this in hand. And play Umara Mystic. Which might get bounced by Fading Hope, but so be it. And summon instead. But now I can quickly redeploy my creatures. Play with fires, not bad. So, can play around Jory Disruption. Play Mystic and Drake. And still have a couple instants available. Opponent unsummons Mystic. Think I'm okay. Killing something here. Question is, do we want to kill Stowaway or Delver? Stowaway doesn't do a whole lot right now. Delver could be painful if it transforms. As it can also block my Storm Chaser Drake potentially. Yeah, I'm not too worried about Stowaway. With all these cheap spells in hand, we'll also be able to transform it back to daytime if it does eventually go night. Delver is still failing to transform. And we'll take two. Opponent can loot away a land, perhaps. And lets it go to night. Alrighty, so... Could kick things off with Academic Dispute on Storm Chaser. And if that resolves, I can learn for Start From Scratch, which can kill the Seafaring Werewolf as well. Kind of like that idea. Could try to attack first. Sure. Let's attack first, in case they decide to bounce before damage for some reason. That worked. And then we can learn... ...for a start from scratch. And attempt to kill the werewolf. That works. And then do I want to play around Jory Disruption? 
could be worth it. Just go for a Thermal Alchemist here. Goes back to daytime. Delver finally transforms, revealing Divide by zero. Take three. And another Delver. Okay. I'll hang on to Consider. And then... Let's see here. The Divide by zero makes things a little tricky. Let's see if they maybe cast it on Umara Mystic. While it's on the stack, they do. So now we could set up an interesting play. Where we Academic Dispute the Delver. And then get Expanded Anatomy. Could of course get punished by another Fading Hope. Although, kind of liking this. Hmm, opponent does seem to be holding priority, so they could indeed have a Fading Hope. Which would make this play of Pumping the Drake a bit of a disaster. Might still go for it anyway. Or I can just decline to give it reach. And then what do I learn for? Could just get one of my more expensive spells and then just play Omar Mystic for now. Yeah, I guess that's safer. And then... Could still get the Expanded Anatomy for later, I suppose. But just not cast it now. And then instead we'll attack for two. And play Umara Mystic. And then Delver next turn can also pump Umara Mystic. Possible opponent just went full control for a second to bluff a... Fading Hope. Second Delver stays a 1-1. One, one. And they go digging. It's a pretty interesting matchup. Definitely seeing the advantage of a few cheap red burn spells to take out their creatures. Aberration still attacking. And now we'll be able to unload quite a bit of damage. And I think it's okay to consider first, see what else we draw. Before deciding if we want to pull the trigger on Expanded Anatomy. And our opponent's just going to give up here. They might have been out of interaction. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Hand is keepable. A little bit of early interaction. Ideally we can hang on to our two spells until after we play Umara Mystic. So I'll put a stop here in case our opponent plays Luminarch Aspirant, which I would happily kill. If Usher attacks for two, do I kill it? If they play Thalia, I guess we can kill Thalia later. So killing Usher is reasonable, but they've got definitely a few more valuable targets than Usher, so might be fine to take two. And if our opponent just boasts, that's fine by me. Okay, so now we can play Delver, keep a play with fire. And we might see like an elite spellbinder here. Adeline would be a little annoying since that survives our play with fire. It's gonna be a portable hole instead. Fair enough. So if they don't play a Luminarch Aspirant, I think I'm fine killing Usher before it gets a chance to attack. It's going to be a Sun Gold Sentinel instead. And then next turn we can play a second Mystic plus a Play with Fire perhaps. Of 
Brutal Cathar, Exiles Mystic, but we can get it back. And then trying to think if there's a huge downside to waiting here on killing the Brutal Cathar. Don't think there is. Another Brutal Cathar, fair enough. So now I could maybe set up an ambush. Could have also tried to protect the Umara Mystic with UC Guard approach, might have been even better. But let's see if we can find another cheap burn spell. That one I'll take. And Academic Disputes, alright. So I can force the Cathar to block and give it reach. And we still get to trample over it. And then what else do I get? Not hating Teachings of the Archaics, given that our opponents had a pretty slow draw. Sure. Attack. And we'll get our author Mystic back. And still deal six. Alright, so not hating my position, but we'll see. There's Adlin, which we'll get to attack, and then I think we'll hang on to our, you see, a guard approach for now. Can kill the 1-1. One, one. Another academic dispute, okay. So that can take care of Adlin. Is there a chance I can just straight up kill my opponent instead? So these three spells I can all cast, which would give us 14 damage exactly, so there's no need for me to mess with the opponent stuff. Can get whatever here. Alright, sweet. So, nice game here against Mono White. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Can our Drake survive? If it does, this hand could be amazing. We'll try it. And hopefully no turn one mountain. Turn one plains, okay. So the Drake stands a chance. Still gonna leap up Consider here to potentially find a second threat. Professor of Symbology. So not sure if this is Mono White Aggro or maybe a Snow Control deck. Don't think I need Island. Omara Mystic is a welcome addition. Alright, so now we've got a backup threat in case the Drake plan doesn't pan out. And of course we would want to play Mystic first before unloading Double Ancestral Anger. Alright, opponent is Black White Snow. So they could present an Eye Twitch to block the Drake. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna play Mystic and pass. And then next turn we can consider our options. Could play a second Mystic and cast an Ancestral Anger. Spellbinder, gonna have a look. So plenty of flyers here, which is gonna give them a couple blockers. Exiles one Anger. And a Shambling Ghast, we don't care about too much. Backup Drake's nice to have. So... What are my options? Kind of liking 
Royal Eruption, the Spellbinder, and then only attack with Umara Mystic, and then play a Backup Drake. Or I guess I could offer the trades between Drake and Eye Twitch, since we'll have a Backup Drake. Although maybe better to wait until we can give them both Trample to get in a bit of extra damage. Alternatively, I could Umara Mystic plus Anger, but I don't really want to trade Mystic for Spellbinder when I have a Royal Eruption in hand. So, I think this is fine. And then maybe I should attack with both. But I don't think my opponent's likely to chump Mystic when we have a Drake that they know about. So they might just take three. Nope, they chump. Alright. I guess it works for me. What do they learn for? Necrotic Fumes, okay, so they're planning to kill one of my creatures here, but that's going to require a second black and them exiling a creature. And then hopefully one of our two drakes survives to start drawing with anger. Also have to watch out for a potential blood on this snow in a few turns. Right, Felstinger's pretty nice, can sacrifice gas to give a drake minus one minus one. And draw two. If they also have a uh, removal spell here for two mana, it's going to be pretty ugly. So, do I commit Ancestral Anger? I can certainly play another Umara Mystic, although that does run into a Blood on the Snow. So maybe step one is Ancestral Anger is the Drake. If they kill it with Spot Removal, I don't feel as bad playing the other Mystic in the case of a Blood on the Snow. So we'll start here. And at the very least, I'll get to draw a card. Alright, so no response. And I did pick up another Mystic. So now if I play Mystic, hit them for a bunch and they wipe the board, we can still follow up with two more creatures. So I think that's fine. And if they don't wipe the board, they're probably going to die. Opponent is going to go for a last ditch attack before resetting the board. I guess we'll still take three, but it's pretty obvious what's going to happen. Ooh, a Meat Hook Massacre for four instead. Probably even better than a Blood on the Snow, as our opponent gains a bunch of life. Well, we gotta rebuild, and hope there's no second sweeper in our future. But can't really afford to hold back. Alright, Professor can set up Necrotic Fumes, maybe learn for Mascot Exhibition. Alright, so our opponent's still at a healthy 15. And we've only got a Thermal Alchemist to work with. Not the best target for Ancestral Anger. Umara Mystic, on the other hand, is pretty decent. So, probably fine to Iteration. And then maybe find a land and a spell here. And then we can unload. Could have also kept the Delver to pump Umar Mystic next turn. So there's the exhibition. And now we gotta hope to draw more spells. So can Ancestral Anger Humara Mystic. Alright, so Kadami Dispute's a nice one. This will also pump the Mystic. And then what do we want to learn for? Got a couple options. How close are we to killing the opponents? I can force them to block right now that we have Trample. And 
and then what you get. Teachings is an option, although my opponent's close to empty-handed. Could always get a start from scratch for an extra point of damage or an expanded anatomy to pump one of my creatures. Yeah, I don't have high hopes for teachings working out. So let's get anatomy. And then play another Delver to pump Mystic. And then our opponent's very close to dead here. Maybe I had lethal if I just got environmental sciences, because then I get to untap alchemist once more. I guess her opponent still would have been at one life. So not quite. Alright. Let's see if they've got a sweeper here. Possible that getting like a start from scratch was still better. Although Metog Massacre could gain them more life back. So opponent gonna attack with a bunch of creatures to force a couple blocks, but we should be just fine here. So can double chump. Opponent will gain two life up to five, and then an anatomy next turn should do it. So yeah, this seems fine. And our opponent concedes to the revealed expanded anatomy here. Sweet. So we managed four wins in a row with our blue-red spells deck, and we faced quite a few tier 1 standard decks in the process, between mono-white aggro, snow control, and in this case it was Is it Dragons over Is it Epiphany, so just missing mono-green to have them all basically. And our deck certainly performed, was quite pleased with Umara Mystic, did a lot of damage, the interaction of Delver of Secrets pumping it up has been quite relevant, and then I was also impressed by Academic Dispute, a card that I actually tried out in a recent Artisan event. I was very happy with it there, so I wanted to try it out in a real standard deck, and it certainly did a lot of work, being able to use it as removal every now and then, especially in combination with a big trampling Omara Mystic is great, and then the flexibility of sometimes targeting Stormchaser Drake to draw extra cards, plus getting access to that sideboard package of lessons is quite useful indeed. So overall, quite happy with where the deck ended up. If you're playing this in a best of three environment, could maybe make room for a few counter spells in a sideboard to counter those big expensive plays out of the Snow Control deck and the Epiphany deck. Although ideally, you want to be able to play more proactive spells that can pump Umara Mystic to get in more damage. So a counter spell like Divide by Zero could still do a decent job as it kind of falls somewhere in between a counter spell and a bound spell. So it can still be used proactively to get extra damage in. So yeah, that's going to be it for me today. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.